onions are, are hated much like garlic because they're they're kind of socially offensive. You know, once you've eaten it, you know you're you're, you're going to have that that breath, uh, you know that, and uh, kind of uh, repels people. Onions uh, probably are a part of at least 65 to 70 percent of all recipes. So it's very important to learn how to deal with them. We're going to go for just the tip of the knife, and again. I'm using the knife like this, but I've had a lot of experience doing it, but also having the rubber glove helps you do it. So you just stick the tip of it in there, and that's what you're looking for. Just take that cap right off there. Now stick it in again, and twist like that. See, you got a little bit of core there. Boom, boom. For just that tip, I'm just going in just like that, and that just gives you the first layer of onion, and then you try to pinch it. Grab it and pinch it. See that? Grab it and pinch it, and pull it just like that. Now ideally you try to do it fast and it gets a lot of a lot of volume off of this at one time. You want the root side down and the flower side up and cut it that way. You almost always cut the onion that way. So that's what you have, that wonderful striation in there. You want it, you want, that's what it should look like when you cut it. I'm going to take my knife and draw it through here, okay? I'm going to let the, the blade of the knife and the sharpness of the knife cut. You don't want to cut through the end, you want to cut about that far into it, all right? So what I'm going to do is start drawing it at the very bottom and cutting layers and layers and layers. Now you notice my hand is not like this because I don't want to ever do that. I'm actually kind of extending my fingers out and using the very thick side of my palm to hold the onion down. Now you see the, all those are cut, not too deeply. Now I'm going to make cuts like this Again, not to the root end, about that far in, okay? Don't worry if some of the onion kind of layers, kind of falls out, no big deal. So, you see I twisted it this way, did those layers, twisted it this way, did these cuts, now I'm gonna twist it back this way, and I'm gonna make my fine dice, okay? Like you're crawling along, like a crab would crawl along this cutting board, tuck my fingernails in, and then I'm gonna push like this and let, the, again, the weight of the knife, and I'm gonna let the weight of the knife and the sharpness of the knife do all the work. Now you have basically a chopped onion ready to, ready to go. Now, there's another cut that I wanna do that is a little bit prettier and would be used for stir fry or onion soup. So I'm taking, again, the root end is right here. This is the flower end. Now I'm just going to start making cuts like this. Again, I'm pushing down like this using the weight of the knife, kind of rolling the onion around. And what I'm, what I'm looking for is this kind of look. And that's going to look very good in, in onion soup and stir fry. Okay. Now let's just do a rough chop. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. Simple as that. And that's basically a heavy cube. If you want the onion to kind of melt away into a sauce or a stew or anything like that, you would go to a fine dice like this. If you want to have a visible, visibly more a prettier look, or for onion soup or for a stir fry, you'd go for that look. And this is for like just heavy, you know, chunky, uh, like puttanesca sauces and things like that. A lot of myths around onions. One of them. Uh, my favorite is cutting it underwater, but again, that's just to make sure that you don't have any of that mist uh, spray. Anytime you add water to things, you're, you're going to dilute some of the intensity of the flavor, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. I would never rinse onions, for example. Just peel them and cut them and cook them. Mm -hmm.